Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear children, the theme of today's Mass is God's love. If you see around, there are so many things through which we can experience God's love. The fruit-giving trees, the river giving waters, our parents taking care of us, our teachers helping us, guiding us, molding us, correcting us. So all around we experience God's love. God's love is so wonderful. And the reason that we are celebrating this Mass today is to thank God for His concern, for His love, for the blessing He is showering upon us. And the same God is telling us we need to be the blessing to others. God's blessings should flow through us. There are times this blessing we did not allow to flow through us. Through us. We have become very miserly. Instead of giving, we have kept those things for us. We have thought more about ourselves, not about others. We failed sharing the good things that we have with others. For all these things, let us together say, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may ever be watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Micah. Hear then what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountain, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O oh my people, what have I done to you? Or have I have or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. My people, remember what Moab's king Balak planned, and how Balaam, the son of Beor, answered him, from Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the just deeds of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with holocaust, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime? the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul. You have been told, 
O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you? Only to do right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. When we stand in the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before us. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. When we stand in the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before us. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. In the love of Jesus, in the love of Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, in the love of Jesus, we have enough to free. When we stand in the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before us. In the love of Jesus, Jesus, we have the victory. We have the victory. Have the victory. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. be with you and with your spirit a reading taken from the holy gospel according to saint john and jesus said i have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete This is my commandment love one another as i love you this is the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ my dear children when you enter the church What do you see right in front of you? The moment you enter the church, what do you see in front of you? Altar. Then crucifix. Then behind the altar, priest is always there. 
Every time when you enter, enter the church, priest is standing there. You think? No. Tabernacle. Then. Then. Only tabernacle. Candles. The background. On the wall. The full thing. Saints that are kept here. Yeah? Blessed Sacrament, here. Yeah. We see various saints that are placed in their respective niches. No? Statues. You don't find statues? Mother Mary, and who else? St. Joseph. Okay. There is one church in Chicago where there is no crucifix, no statues of St. Joseph, no statues of Mother Mary. There are only these words. The priest taught writing only these words. God loves you. Big letters. Only this is written. An altar is there. God loves you. And every evening they have service. And during this service, the priests who are residing in that church, they are preaching only about God's love, nothing else. There's no other theme that they touch. They touch every day. The theme, God's love. Every evening they have service, they have blessing, and people go. When the service was going on, one drunkard passed the side. And right from out he could read. What is, he could read? God loves you. And he read the words, he said, no, definitely he is not loving me. My wife is hitting me. My children, they are hitting me. And how he, a drunkard walks? His steps are not steady. And he said, no, God is not going to love me. I'm not a good person. But what he read made a great impression on his mind. God loves you. And he, it kept on going. He went little ahead. And somehow that thought, God loves you, brought him back. The service was over, and the priest was there in the sacristy. He went straight to the priest, and he asked the priest, See, I am in this state, I am drunk, my wife hates me, my children, they don't respect me, they also hate me. Because the moment I enter home, my home, there is a terror. I fling the things here and there on my children, on my wife. I hammer them. After doing all this, you think God loves me? He asked the priest. And the priest spoke to him nearly for half an hour. And he told him, yes, no matter who you are and what state you are in, God loves you. And this drunkard at that time cried like a child. He asked forgiveness. He made his confession and he went back home as a renewed person. That is the power of God's love. And we need to always remember Greater than our sinfulness is the mercy and love of God. Never hesitate to come back in the loving embrace of God. Because God is love. We have experienced this love so many ways, especially through our parents, our teachers, our family members. And God is loving us all the more. 
we need to listen and to raise gospel faith. He has come to give us joy so that our joy may be complete. And this is the commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. How Jesus loved us? To the point of suffering and dying on the cross. To this extent, He loved us. Real love is shown when we suffer for others. Greater is the love, greater is the suffering. The more we love the person, the more we, we want to suffer for that person. So this is the mystery of God's love. Let us accept from deep down of our heart, let us believe this, God is a loving Father. And His love is so wonderful. And we will wind up this short reflection with a hymn, very popular hymn, very old one. God's love is so wonderful. You all know that? For today's offertory we have what you have written, your ambition, what you want to become. You have written the names of the person who, whom you love the most and so many other things, I suppose. I am going to offer this to the Lord along with bread and wine. And all your prayers, your ambitions will be blessed by the Lord. and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion various offerings of the law, except we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your sins with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> Heaven and full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is come the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Giving the first response, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, the local bishop and all the clergy, Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to coerce to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us call upon the Heavenly Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, be free from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With a smiling face, let us share the peace of Christ with those around us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and so shall be healed. channel of your peace, where there is hatred, let me bring your love, where there is injury, your pardon, Lord, and where there's proud to faith in you, oh, master, run that I may never see. To be consoled, to console, to be understood, as to understand, to be loved, as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace, where there is hatred, let me bring your love. There is injury of pardon, Lord, and where they start to faith in you.
Let us pray. Graciously be present your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I am sending you as messengers, ambassadors of God's love. Wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you, you say, the others should experience God's love through you. Go in the love of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Louder. 